Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. Over the next several minutes, you will learn about the new features and enhancements included in Sage 50 Accounting Release 2021. This new version of Sage 50 features usability and productivity enhancements inspired by ideas and requests submitted by our customers. We value your feedback. Notable new features and improvements include a new memorized purchase invoice feature, enhancements to task windows, lists, and other program areas, updated workstation installation options, improvements to end product messaging, and more. Let's start with the usability improvements provided in Sage 50 Release 2021. Release 2021 adds the ability to memorize a purchase invoice or vendor bill in the program. Memorized transactions are templates of frequently entered transactions you can use to quickly enter common tasks without having to create each transaction from scratch. Memorized purchase invoices may be useful if you have frequent service bills with variable costs and few or no inventory items. Memorized invoices can be created and selected directly on the Purchases Receive Inventory task window. With a new or existing invoice displayed, Simply click the arrow next to the Copy Toolbar button and select Memorize for Future Use. This will open the new Maintain Memorize Purchase Invoices window with the relevant invoice details copied into it. Here, you can modify the information to include only information that you expect will not change when entering similar invoices in the future. For example, this monthly bill will likely include the same line items, but the costs may change, so let's remove the quantity and amount details. Finally, enter an ID and description for the memorized invoice and click Save. And that's it. When you need to create the same bill in the future, simply open the Purchases Receive Inventory window, click the down arrow next to List, and click Select. Then pick the memorized purchase invoice from the list to use its contents as the starting point for a new bill. If you want to edit an existing memorized purchase invoice or create a new one from scratch, you can do so by selecting Maintain from the main menu bar, Memorize Transactions, and then Purchase Invoices. Sage 50 continues to improve the usability and ease of use of the task windows and lists in which you perform your daily tasks. Convenient tooltips have been added to the item and job columns on task windows. In previous versions, you may have had to click inside a field to view the full ID of an inventory item or view the details of a job assignment, especially if you use phases and cost codes. Now, you can simply hover your mouse over a populated item field to view a pop-up display of the entire name of an item ID, or over a job field to view the full job, phase, and cost code assignment of the line item. Release 2021 also includes improvements to many list windows. For example, you can now add the ship to name on key sales transaction lists. To add additional columns to a list, click Settings, select the column you want to add, then click Add, and then OK. The Ship to Name column is now available on the Proposals, Sales Orders, and Sales Invoices list windows. In Release 2020, attachments were added as an optional column to select list windows. This column allows you to quickly determine which record or transactions have documents or files attached to them. In 2021, the Quotes and Sales Orders lists now include this column. Finally, if you're using the Workflow Process feature in Quantum Accounting, you can add tracking details to many transaction lists so that you can quickly view a transaction's tracking status, the person it is currently assigned to, and available tracking notes. Beginning with Release 2021, optional tracking detail columns can be added to the Quotes and Proposals list windows. Other enhancements that make Sage 50 easier to use include an updated open and existing company window. This window offers more precise last modified timestamps and full company folder paths, so you can easily determine which recently opened data set you want to work in. 
click Browse to open the new Open Company window and view all of the company data sets currently located in your data path. By default, the location of your data path displays at the top of the window. Click Browse to browse to other locations that may contain company data set folders. Release 2021 introduces a redesigned in-product messaging system that replaces select pop-up messages. In-product messages are now displayed in individual callouts on the side of the program, making them more informative and less intrusive. In-product messages keep you updated with the latest support and product news, as well as Sage account notices, exclusive Sage promotions, and more. If a message interests you, click Learn More to open your web browser and view more details. Opening a message will mark it as read and remove it from the side panel. Otherwise, simply click the X icon to remove a message without opening it. The message will not display the next time you open the program. Messages are categorized into different types. If you prefer not to see a specific type of message, click the ellipses and select Turn Off Category Notification. You can always review previous messages by clicking the Inbox icon. Here, you can permanently delete messages from your inbox, and you can also click Preferences to select the type of messages you'd like to receive. Sage 50 2021 now integrates with Google's Security Application Programming Interface, or API, to authorize and secure access to your Google Gmail account. You no longer need to enter a password when you send your first email of the day. You now only need to walk through an initial authorization process the first time you send an email in Release 2021. Google Authentication is browser-based and includes signing in to your Google account and authorizing Sage 50 to connect with your Gmail account and send emails on your behalf. Two-step verification may be necessary to complete the authorization. Sage 50 will no longer ask you to enter your Gmail password. However, Google may prompt you for your Gmail credentials based on your Google security settings and your current work environment. The new Google authorization process goes into effect for all new users upgrading to release 2021. Sage 50 2021 makes it easier to configure and maintain the program on a network by supporting Universal Naming Convention Paths, or UNC for short, when installing Sage 50 on a workstation. Map drives are no longer required. Here's how it works. When installing Sage 50 on a server, a data path folder is shared that will be accessed by all workstations. In Windows, this location is formatted using Universal Naming Convention syntax. In previous versions, the UNC path of the shared folder had to be mapped to a drive letter during workstation installations. Now, you can simply type in the full UNC path in the provided field. You can also browse to the server and select the shared Peachtree folder. The installation will apply proper UNC path formatting for you. Note that the UNC path option is only available during new installations. Upgrading an existing installation of Sage 50 to release 2021 will preserve the existing mapped drive configuration. If you are adding a new workstation to an upgraded network configuration, it's recommended that you select the Network Drive option and map a drive to keep your existing network setup consistent. If you are using the Network Installation Manager to install Sage 50 Release 2021 on workstations, the installation will use UNC path formatting in place of mapping a drive. Also be aware that depending on your Windows configuration, you may be prompted to enter your network credentials when opening Sage 50 on a workstation as it connects to the data path using the UNC path. These credentials are managed by your system administrator and are separate from your Sage 50 login details. Since the introduction of smart posting, system environments have become more advanced, and the extra performance smart posting provides has become minimal on smaller networks. New companies created in Quantum 2021 and later, or companies converted from another edition of Sage 50 to Quantum, will now default to real-time posting. If you are currently using smart posting, you can continue to do so. Quantum upgrades will not change your existing posting method preference. 
If you'd like to see if real-time posting works better for you on your network, open the Maintain Company Information window to switch between posting methods at any time. As a final note, your Release 2021 upgrade includes new features that require a one-time database conversion. This is accomplished using the Data Conversion Wizard built into Sage 50. The Conversion Wizard will initialize when you open your company data after upgrading Sage 50 to Release 2021. If you are running Sage 50 on a network, the data conversion process should be completed on the server before workstations access the data. Workstations will not be able to open the company until the conversion process is complete. Note that the Release 2021 Data Conversion Wizard only converts databases that are in version 2015 format or later. If you need to convert a company currently in Release 2014 format or earlier, please contact Sage 50 support for instructions. This concludes our look at the new usability and productivity enhancements available in Sage 50 Accounting Release 2021. Thank you for viewing this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.